I'm here with a fashion blogger, Julia Lang, from Geeks and Fashion. Which, by the way, Julia, first of all, congratulations for your work. You. I haven't seen it, it's very good. Um, now, you have such an original style. What, what keeps you inspired in this style? First of all, thank you very much for saying this. For me, it's like I'm traveling all around the world and like I see so many people on the street and especially here in fashion weeks and all these different looks on the street just inspire me. But also like many different kinds of things like art or music, it's like really inspiring me. I understand. Um, what can you tell us about your work? Well, um, I'm a fashion blogger, started like two years ago and it's basically a personal style blog where I update my personal looks every day or my inspiration like from people all around the world and yeah I'm going to lots of fashion weeks and especially here in Lisbon I really like the atmosphere and the whole coming together from all around the world. And precisely Julia because you travel around the world what do you think about Portuguese fashion? I think it's amazing because I have just been like this season to New York and London as well and if I compare it, the cuts and the quality is so well. Like in New York, I mean I love New York, but it's very like mainstream, rather here it's very, all the cuts are very unique and you see different kinds of shape in any designer and for me it's just amazing. Like those designers are not really huge names, but I think they have a huge future. Uh, Julie, tell me one thing, please. Uh, now you mentioned New York, and that's quite interesting because it takes me to the, my nearest question. That people believe that to be in fashion is wearing the same clothes, the same haircuts, the same makeup of the celebrities. I'm now uh, thinking about one, uh, Victoria Beckham. Everyone wants to, to use her haircut, it's bob like. Yeah. But definitely, this haircut is not for everyone. So I think. I don't think this is for all people. I mean, everyone must have his identity. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. Like, I remember back in the days when Rihanna, she cut her hair and she had this very unique short haircut and I was close about to do it. But then I was like, no, you need to keep staying yourself and not copy other people, which is really important and which like every young girl should keep in mind. It's nice like how celebrities look, but always keep your personal style. So I understand that. What would be your advice for uh, old people and young people that think like this? Like you mean in general of their look? Yes, like those who believe that uh, to, be, to be in style needs to be close like uh, Victoria Beckham. Personally, I think it's very important not to copy because if you feel comfortable with the way you dress, people recognize this and you're going to shine even more. If you copy someone, it's not yourself and you're not going to really shine. Julia, because of all the technology in, in the fashion world, uh, and including the Facebook, the Twitter, the, all the blogs, uh, uh, everyone wants to be a model. And I mean, it's very rare the, the day when someone doesn't write me a letter to, I want to be a model, what can I do to be a model? But to be a model is not, uh, it's not for everyone. I mean, to be a model, it's, uh, it's a, a job, a career, but what can you tell me about this? I think it's very difficult. Like young girls should keep in mind that being a model it's a hard it's a very hard job and like you can't really eat much, you need to travel all the time, you're not with your family anymore. There are lots of people which young girls forget about. I mean, it's glamorous in some parts, but in the main part it's lots of hard work and you need to very be ambitious about your body and you need to focus. Otherwise you're not gonna be a model. Yes, I understand because when I wake up this morning and I just came to have the breakfast, I saw all the models and uh, having their breakfasts perfectly normal, uh, no makeup, all the glamour from the, the catwalk yesterday in Models Boulevard just went away, ordinary dress, so after all, they are human, right? Absolutely, and I think this is the nice part about it because we are all humans, no matter if we are a celebrity or a model or just like you and me, we are all the same. Yes. You understand that because of the, this huge desire the, the, the young people want, have to, to, to be a model, they do almost anything, and I do mean almost anything, to be a model. I don't think that is correct. What do you say? 
I mean, like I said, like young people, they just see those perfect pictures in the magazines, but they really forget about like how hard the work actually is behind the scene. And like yesterday, the last show was Louis Buscino, and I saw this young girl. She couldn't even like almost walk in their shoes, and like you see that he, she was really like stressed and not comfortable. And young girls should keep this in mind. After all, they are human, right? Yes, absolutely. We are. <laughs> <laughs> and back, precisely back to the Portuguese fashion. Which one is your uh, favorite Portuguese designer? I mean, so far, Luis Puccino yesterday was amazing. I think the shape and like the fabrics he's using, the leather and then the different matching is just beautiful. <laughs> Who do you think is the most influential personality in the world of fashion? That's really hard to say because there are many influences. But I mean, at the moment, I would quite say Emmanuel Alt because she's Vogue editor and like her style is very minimalistic. She's very basic, but still very eye-catching, which is for me fashionable. Events like Models Boer, Portugal Fashion, uh, New York Fashion Week, uh, all, the, all the events. Um, you think they have any influence uh, in the, well, I say ordinary people, people that just don't belong to this, uh, to this, uh, this ambience. People like you and me, people that go shopping every day. What do you think they think about these events? Um, well, I think back in the days, not that much. But nowadays, like it's in every magazine. Even like 10 minutes after the runway show, it's on the internet. It's on like every online um, site. So for me, I think it's really growing. And even people who are not that much into fashion, they see it, even if they don't want to. Like on Facebook, I have so many friends, they're not bloggers or not working with fashion, but they upload all the newest runway looks. So I think... Yeah. Julia, what is your biggest dream? Well, I would dream like to make my own living just by my blog. This is my biggest dream and to travel and just enjoy and like this would be what I love to do and which is my goal. Thank you, Julia. Pleasure. Good luck. Thank you.